This custom mug is making thousands of dollars each month. But the thing is, there's dozens of other custom products just like it that are also bringing in thousands of dollars of passive income each month. But how can you sell custom products while keeping the entire business passive? Today, let me introduce you to a new side hustle that you've never heard of before, an automated personalized products business. Over the last year, I've talked about selling mugs, posters, and t-shirts online. And I've shown you the proof for how these products can make tens of thousands of dollars of passive income per month. And I've shown you exactly how I personally do this myself. But what I haven't shown you is that custom products not only sell more often than these pre-made products, but they also make more profit per sale since the product is customized to the buyer. The thing is selling these custom products the traditional way is difficult and why hardly anyone does it which makes right now the perfect time to cover exactly how to leverage the power of AI to start this side hustle in the easiest way possible while keeping the entire business completely passive. Look, it took me eight months to make my first $100,000 running a very similar business back in 2019. And funnily enough, one of my best selling products in that shop was a custom sweatshirt like we'll make today that I had to manually make every time it sold. But if I had what I'm sharing with you today, there's no doubt I would have been able to scale that business way faster and be more profitable over time. So in this video, we're looking at real shops and listings so that you can see the proof for yourself. I'll explain the entire process and business model and I'm even going to set up some custom products completely automated with AI right here in this video so that you can see just how easy it is to get started. But for you to actually see this working in real time and understand how the entire business works, this mug here on Etsy is a great example because it's super simple, but it's still a custom product where the buyer gets to decide what the design says. So when they have their idea ready, then they go through and they choose a font and then they'll put their request in this personalization box, which tells the shop owner what they want the design to say before they buy the mug. The shop owner will then make the custom design, put it on the mug and get it printed and shipped to the customer. And although this is a newer listing, they posted it April 9th, about five months ago, it's already made over $18,000 or around $3,000 a month, all from one single mug listing, but it gets way crazier than that. There's other mugs like this one that also offer customization to make even more money. And this one's doing a little more at around $16,000 a month. And they're just letting users customize a little name in the middle of the mug, just adding a little bit of personalized detail, but it definitely pays off. By the end of the video, we'll be able to create and automate an entire custom products business, keeping it completely passive. And not just selling mugs, but any product you want, like this ornament. It's a wedding or first Christmas together gift ornament, and the customer is able to change out the names or the year on the ornament, which makes it a perfect gift that actually feels special. It's much better than just a generic ornament because it's customized to the person you're giving it to. And it really shows because as we get closer to Christmas, this listing is making approximately $30,000 a month and just over $232,000 in less than the first year that it's been available for sale. But that's the same reason hardly anyone has tapped into this business yet because a product selling 50 times per day, when you have to make the custom design, send it to the customer for approval, wait for any revisions they have, make those revisions and then print it on the product and ship it out to them. It would take a ton of time to do all of this work manually and you couldn't run this business from a laptop until now. This is exactly where Hello Custom AI comes into play. We'll use Canva to create our custom product template design and then we'll put it on top of a mock-up to make it look nice. This is what the customer sees and what they're going to buy. Then we'll use Hello Custom to connect to our Canva account and import the designs we make. This tool lets shoppers customize their design in real time, seeing what the end result is going to look like before they ever even place the order. This saves you time for having to make the design every single time your product sells, and it saves all of your customers time from having to wait around for you to send a preview while they hope it looks right. Then all that's left is getting that design printed on the product and shipped to the customer. And since Hello Custom integrates directly with Printify, we can do exactly that. Whenever a customer places an order, Hello Custom is going to save the design that they made, upload it to the product that they ordered, and Printify will have that design printed on the product and get it shipped directly to the customer. All without us having to make any custom designs, 
print the designs on the product or even hold any inventory ourselves. But just for a little bit more proof on how well this can actually work, this custom sweatshirt is selling in the exact same way. So the customer gets to choose whatever name or text they want the sweatshirt to say, and the shop owner is going to customize it for them. They're targeting the wedding or bridal shower niche with this listing specifically, but they're selling the sweatshirt for $26.77, plus they're charging $4.25 of shipping or about $31 in total revenue. But since we can use Printify to automate selling sweatshirts just like this, it only costs $12.89 to get the design printed on the sweatshirt and then $7.39 to ship it directly to the customer. So if you take the total revenue of $31 minus the total costs of $20.28, we're left with about $10.71 of profit per sale. So with around 1,500 monthly sales, that's a little over $15,000 of profit per month. Or for a listing like this one, again, it's just a single custom word in the middle of the sweatshirt. 2,000 sales a month is around $60,000 of monthly revenue or around $2,000 a day and $20,000 of profit per month just from a single product listing in their shop. And this shop just happens to have a bunch of these custom listings that make sales every single month. I'll try and leave more examples down below, but now you can see I didn't even clickbait as hard as I could have. But now that you can see just how well custom products work, there's three components that you need to be successful. First is an Etsy shop to sell your products. Etsy is key to making this entire business possible because not only does it unlock millions of shoppers who come to buy products on Etsy already, but personalized products sell three times better on average than pre-made products on Etsy. Second is we need the custom design for the product that we're going to be selling. And third is marketing to actually get our products to sell. The very first step is to open up a shop to sell our products in. But to save us both time for today, I've created a completely free guide that will walk you through everything that you need to do from coming up with a business name to setting up a business email and creating a Printify account, connecting it to Etsy with 40 free listings and getting set up with Hello Custom, all jumpstarting your business in 10 minutes or less. Again, it completely for free with all the best discounts and coupon codes that I could find. But with your shop set up, we can move on to the most important component of the business, which is the custom designs. The thing about selling custom products is you don't even have to be a good designer because the customer is going to tell you what they want the design to be. All you have to do is make a decent looking custom template and we'll do some research to figure out what's worth making and what isn't. Now the absolute easiest design to start with is going to be the simple text design similar to what this sweatshirt has on it that's making around $24,000 a month. This design is just a template for the customer to enter in a last name for some kind of wedding or bridal shower type gift. Simple text designs like this can work best because they're simple, anyone can wear it, and with it being custom, the buyer feels like they're getting something truly unique and special. Plus, the wedding niche is popular year round, which means something like this would be the perfect place to start. Now, inside of Canva, which I'll be using to create our custom designs, we just wanna create a new canvas with a custom size of 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. This is going to be the average print size for most Printify apparel and their sweatshirts, which we'll be using as the example today. For this first custom design, I'm just going to add in my text. So I'll add a heading since it's larger for our product, and then I can type in whatever I want this to say. So for example, wifey. Then I'll just scale it up so that it's a little bit bigger, and I'll position it towards the top. Then I wanna change the font to something that has a kind of bold, elegant, timeless vibe to it, something that'll do well on Etsy. I think this one looks pretty good, and I want my text to be in all capital letters. I'm also gonna change the color just so it's a little bit easier to read. So now I have to add the customizable part of the design. This is the part that the customer is going to edit. So I'll just add another text layer, a little smaller this time, and then I'll put in the placeholder for the last name. And for this one, I think I wanna choose a thinner, more cursive font to give the design a little bit of contrast as well. Again, I'll scale it up so that it'll look nice on our product. And I'll also change the color to something, again, a little bit darker so that it shows up nice and has good contrast. Now, obviously I could go on and make more variations of this text design targeting different niches, but for now, let's also do a different type of custom design 
image customization. Think of this like a product where you're uploading custom photos and having them automatically printed on the product for you. Like this mug that's making $3,000 a month or this custom image t-shirt that's making even more at around $8,000 a month. The cool thing is Hello Custom also lets us automate adding images to the product. So I'm just going to add another page to our custom design file and then I'll add in another text layer. I'll change out the placeholder text and then I'll change the font to something a little different like this Amalfi font and I'll scale it up again and make the text all caps. Now I can add in my image. So this is just gonna be a placeholder image where users will see the example. So I'll search for something like friends and then just pick one of these images to use as the placeholder. But again, you could do this for weddings, families, birthdays, or any niche that you want to target. And just like that, our second custom design is completely done. We're almost ready to post it for sale, but first we have to take the custom design that we've made and put it on top of a mockup. This is what shows the customer what they're going to get. Whenever I buy product mockups, I like looking at what listings are already selling super well, and then I'll try and go buy those exact same product mockups to use in my own shop. I'll look at the sales volume to figure out which listings are selling best, and then I'll go try and buy those exact same mockups so that I know the products I list have the best chance of converting and making sales. Plus, they only ever cost a few dollars on Etsy. Now, to actually make the product mockup, all we have to do is drag that mockup into a new Canva design file, and then we can copy the custom design we've made and paste it on top of our mockup. Now when I save this mockup to my computer, it'll all be one image that I can use in my listing. Now Printify is the company that we're gonna use to automate printing and shipping the products directly to the customer. So we need to take the custom design that we've made and upload it to the product that we're selling in Printify. So since I'm going to be selling a sweatshirt, I'll just choose that product from their catalog and I'll hit start designing. This is where I can select all of the color options that I wanna offer for sale in this product listing. Then we just need to download our design from Canva. Now, since we already sized it to fit our sweatshirt, all we have to do is go to share, press download, make sure that transparent background is selected and hit download. Then once those designs are saved to your computer, all we have to do is drag them into the Printify editor and let them upload. You can see that this design is perfectly sized to fit our sweatshirt. This is important because the way that the designs are sized in Printify is how the automated designs will be sized when they're finished. Once this looks good, we can just press save. And before we publish this for sale, we're just going to go to upload and we wanna drag in that mockup that we just created for this product listing. Then just hit confirm, and this will be the primary mockup for our product listing. We can hit save, we can double check that everything looks right. We can even use Printify's AI to generate a title, tags, and description for our product so that we don't have to go do that on our own. I'll apply this, and now we're ready to publish it in our shop. So I'll just press publish. This sends that listing over to our shop in Etsy. This is already looking great in my opinion, but there's one final step we can take before we're really ready to start selling. With the email you've created from following my guide, we can come over to Hello Custom and create an account. Now, once you're all signed up, all you need to do is come down into the corner and click on connections. This is where you'll connect your Hello Custom account to Etsy to collect the orders, to Printify to fulfill the orders, and to Canva so that you can import your designs. Luckily, it's as simple as just hitting connect. All that's left is to import the design that we made from Canva into our account. So over in the designs tab, we can just click upload design, upload from Canva, and we can select those custom designs that we just made. Once this loads, we're almost done. We just have to tell the AI which parts of the design are customizable. The first thing I'm gonna do is just select the text element and tell Hello Custom that this is editable for the customer. All I have to do is come up into the tags section and add a tag. So for example, this one, it could just be a custom text. And this lets me tell the AI what type of customization this is. So for example, a text input we could add a character limit if we want, but we'll just leave this as is and hit save. Then I can do the exact same thing for the image area. So I'll just select the image. I'll come over and add a tag that's called custom image. For the type, I'm just gonna put that this is an upload image and hit save. Since I already connected my Hello Custom account to Etsy and Printify, when I click on the products dropdown, you'll see the product that we just posted for sale. So I can select it 
and hit update. When I save this product, we're basically done. Hello Custom knows that whenever that product sells on Etsy, to customize the design however the user wants it to be customized, and then they'll send it over to Printify and fulfill the order automatically. But if we wanna enable the live preview so that the customer can edit their product in real time, in the live preview tab, this lets us create a live preview by uploading that product mockup that we're using. Once it's uploaded, we can add in that custom design that we just finalized and position it on our product mockup. You just wanna line this up as best as you can to the product in Printify so that the customer gets exactly what they're looking for. And that's it. Now, once it's done saving, we wanna come over and copy the live preview link. This is where everything starts to fall into place and gets really cool because in Etsy, we just wanna edit that product one last time and scroll down to edit the personalization section and make sure that it's enabled. This is where the customer can actually submit their request for their custom products. This is important because it gives the buyer instructions for exactly how to place their custom order. So for my listing, I'm just going to tell customers to create their custom sweatshirt here and then paste in that live preview link so that they know exactly where to create their live preview. And second, to paste in their custom design code. Now, when I publish these changes, our listing is finally complete. So when we view this on Etsy and the customer is ready to buy it, you'll see that they get this live preview link that they can go to to actually design their product. When they open this link, it's branded to your shop. They see the exact same mockup that they just saw on Etsy. And this is where they can completely customize their design. They can customize the text and see a live preview of how the final design will actually look and they can even upload their own custom images to the product right here. Instead of having to email it to you, then you create the mock-up and send it back to them for approval. This removes all of the back and forth that you'd normally have to do with the customer. They'll get this code that they can paste into the personalization box, and when they place their order, absolutely everything is automated. This works whether you wanna sell custom listings with just images or just text or even listings with custom font options that the customer gets to choose from. It's entirely customized to exactly what the customer wants and it's entirely automated. So although it does take a few extra minutes to get everything set up up front, it saves you hours of future work fulfilling dozens of custom orders a day once you scale your business to that point. Now, in order to make any sales, we have to get the products that we've just made in front of buyers who actually wanna buy them. You can do this leveraging Etsy's free organic traffic since they drive around 350 to 400 million visitors to their site each month. Now, I already did a full video tutorial covering exactly how to do this, but it essentially comes down to using algorithm-friendly SEO in all of your listings and then making a lot of listings. But I'll leave a link to that video so that you can go watch it next. The good thing about selling custom products is that since they're a lot harder to fulfill and hardly anyone knows about this automation, there's a lot less competition in the custom product space. And since we do make more profit per sale selling a custom item, we could also consider running some paid ads to our product listings. But we still have to have optimized SEO in our listings for the ads to work. That's why I always recommend going with the organic organic approach first, and then running paid ads with a $5 per day budget to listings that are getting organic sales. That's the exact strategy that I've used to earn over seven figures using nothing but organic traffic. Now, as promised, you can download all of the free resources in the description right below this video, as well as get a special link to access Hello Custom's lifetime offer for only $67 once. This gets you full access to the Hello Custom text personalization AI, and down the line, once you're making more sales, you can always upgrade your account to unlock even more customization features, some of which I didn't even have time to mention today. But honestly, the lifetime offer is the perfect place to start. Now, if you've got questions, leave them in the comments section below, and as always.